There's no secret to what makes the PLD and CXD amplifier so powerful. And to prove it, we're going to take an inside look at these amazing devices. The first thing you'll notice is that it appears to be built upside down. That's to ensure that if any dust, liquid, or particles enter the amplifier, they will end up on the bottom of the chassis, not on the circuit boards. Each amplifier has four amplifier channels. Channel A, channel B, channel C, and channel D. Each channel is made up of storage capacitors, a filter, and a custom MOSFET. Each pair of channels shares a heatsink. You'll notice that channel A and B and channel C and D are on opposite heatsinks. This is to spread out the heat as much as possible when they're used simultaneously, reducing the overall thermal load of the system. One of the features that sets this amplifier apart from the competition is the flexible amplifier summing technology. This patent pending technique enables you to configure the amplifier using four, three, two, and single channel amplifier configuration, making this the most flexible amplifier QSE has ever created. What makes fast amplification possible is this QSE designed proprietary MOSFET utilized in each of the four amplifier channels. The brain of the amplifier is this processor, which provides real useful DSP to the amplifier. It provides all of the essential processing, like crossover, five band EQ, delay, peak limiters, and more. There's no need for an additional external device because all of these functions are built into the amplifier. And when connected to QSC loudspeakers, the DSP board offers powerful intrinsic correction processing that will maximize their sonic performance. Now that we understand the major components, let's run through the power, audio signal, and processing flow. Power comes into the amplifier, goes through the line filters, and enters these power supplies. The majority of the power is converted from AC into DC using power factor correction technology and is used to charge the amplifier's power capacitors. There, the power is available to be fed into the amplifier's power modules. Meanwhile, on the other side of the chassis, the audio signal enters the amplifier and is converted from an analog signal to a digital signal on this input board. From here, it's transported to the amplifier's DSP board. This is where all the processing is applied to the signal. At this point, the power stored in the capacitors and the processed signal converge in the power module and then travel through these heavy wires onto the output board where it is finally sent to the loudspeaker as an amplified audio signal. So that's an inside look at the PLD and CXD amplifier. Let's do a quick recap. Chassis construction, channel layout, flexible amplifier summing technology, real useful DSP, and power and signal flow.